Hey, sports fans, Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. We're going to talk about the 2019 Boston Marathon. First, let's just do the facts. Uh, Worknesh Degeffa won the women's race in 223.31. Um, what's fascinating is that's her first race outside of the Dubai Marathon. She's run her, her only three marathons in Dubai, where she ran a 222, a 219, and a 217.41. Um, she took the lead early on, and uh, she built up the lead to three and a half minutes. Edna Kiplagat came after her very hard, but Edna started about 21, 22 miles and brought it down to 42 seconds. Um, Jordan Hasse, um, one of our favorites uh, from Nike Oregon Club and one of the most popular athletes on social media, um, the diminutive uh, Miss Hasse took third in a 225, and the 2018 winner, Des Linden, was fifth in 227. On the men's side, um, Lawrence Trono won a gut-wrenching sprint over the last 600 meters. There was three guys together, and uh, Trono really didn't take charge until about 100 meters to go, where he broke a uh, two-time winner, Lisa De Sisa. You remember him? 2013, 2015, Boston, and then 2018, New York. Um, De Sisa gave up the ghost with about 30 meters to go. Lawrence went through to win. Um, what's interesting there is Lawrence's uh, manager, Federico Rosa, predicted Lawrence's victory to me a week before in Milano. We weren't drinking, we were just chatting over an espresso. I asked him who was gonna win, and he smiled and looked at me and he said, Lawrence Toronto, I'm only sending one athlete. I thought that was, you know, kind of uh, bragging a little bit for Federico, he kind of keeps it understated, but the thing is when Lawrence, when Federico says something, we listen. So, uh, Lawrence uh, Toronto wins the 2019 Boston Marathon. Uh, there was nearly 30,000 people on the course. Um, it started out as a scary day, uh, at 7 a.m. there were thunderstorms and there were lightning and uh, I thought the races could be delayed but by 7.30 it started clearing up and it was actually a wonderful day. Uh, congratulations to the American Scott Foible who ran 209.09 in 7th place and Jared Ward 209.25 in 8th place. Um, they are the 11th and 12th best Americans of all times now and uh, Scott, big improvement, three minutes over his uh, PB in New York, and then um, Jared ran his PB, I believe, at 2.11.30 uh, um, in his last Boston. So, um, great race in Boston. It's a great place for the community to come together. Uh, security at the Heinz Convention Center annoyed some people. The lines were long getting into the convention, but people are there. There's a lot of booths. Adidas, longtime sponsor, Gatorade, but also it shows the health of the community. Um, unlike New York and Chicago, where you've got a lot less shoe companies involved um, because it's just getting too expensive. We thought Boston was a fabulous race this year. Make sure you read Dave Hunter's pieces on Run Blog Run and Carolyn Mather's uh, synopsis of the women's race, but also some cool commentary on women's running in the U.S. This is Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. Thank you for your time.